It's review time. All right, I got two sets. I'm gonna review them both. All right, first I'm gonna review this Ferrari. It's um, uh, the new eight stud wide one, which is pretty nice. Um, I'm just gonna start off with the canopy. It's nice and printed, but it's wide as well. Um, and I'm just gonna go from outside to the uh, on the front, there's these headlights, they line up nicely. There's a Ferrari logo. They used some printed shield pieces in here to make it look nice, and a printed one by four with this little spot in the middle printed with, printed with black. There's two more stickers on either side here. It's got this down, and two stickers here and here. It's got some nice star wheels, and it's got this little printed one by one stub that came with it. On the back, there's two more stickers, just a Ferrari one and a um, license plate. There's like exhaust and some, uh, what are they called? Lights. Sure. Yep. And, um, they did good at smoothing it out and stuff. Like, it's pretty smooth. The front looks good. It's just a bit funky that the studs are showing here, but, you know, it's fine. And, um, on the sides, it looks really good. There's like little areas back here. And back here, especially, looks really good. And these line up, which is really nice. And then I'm just going to show you the inside. And I'll take this deed out and this other stuff. So it can fit two minifigures inside. And it's got this little thing in the middle on backwards. So that's pretty much it. And here's the minifigure. He's got his helmet on. And he can also swap his hair. And he's got some nice hair. An alternative face print. He's just neutral, which is good. He's got a cool jacket on with the Ferrari logo on it. And he also came with a wrench. That's pretty nice. And you, know, you can just put him up in here. I think and you have to put the, the left arm up pretty high, which is kind of weird. But, yeah. Overall, I think it's a really good set. It's got some really good um, curvature. And it looks really nice. It looks pretty realistic. Um, still got these. I forgot to say that. But it looks pretty good. And they use kind of weird techniques in it. Like... Um, inside here, they use, um, a bunch of those weird bits, um, I have one here, they use these on the inside, which is kind of weird, but, you know, it's still cool, and it looks good because it turned out how it did. Right here, there's a little gap in between, because they used, like, side studs and stuff, and then even back here looks good because the bumper lines up with the back, but... It looks pretty good, I, you know, it's pretty good for Lego at least, and yeah. And now, we can review the Snow Speeder from Star Wars, because double review, baby, I don't feel like we're reviewing in two separate videos. And um, I'm just going to do the same thing outside to in, but um, it's got some nice exhaust here. They used the nice grill pieces, which should look good for those exhausts. Um, they just use a normal stud shooter as the harpoon gun, and they actually have har harpoon that you have the string to, so there's that. Um, this gun can rotate because it's just on a jumper plate, but um, it's got these guns here and some good stickers, and this opens up and there's a sticker in there for when it, wants, for when it turns, and um, this little bit is cool, and it's symmetrical on both sides. And there isn't much on the underside except for some um, spring-loaded shooters. I added a little mod myself to hold Luke's lightsaber because there's storage inside, and it's not big enough for Luke's lightsaber. And inside, there's this little storage container with Luke's lightsaber and Dak's pistol. And so, first off, here's Luke, and um, you know he's normal. Um, I think they might have updated the torso print. I'm not sure on that, but it's got this. And the alternate face looks really good because you can see that his goggles are up, which that's pretty cool. And then in, in between them, there's like a little space for a gun. And this is Dak. He has the same body print, and I'm pretty sure it's the same face. No, it's a different face, but it's just the generic pilot face, which is kind of sad. I wish they didn't use that as often. Same body print, and... The generic helmet as well. And then um, inside here, there's this little targeting computer where you can see the back artillery gun or whatever. And there's the Z thing right here. 
The only complaint I have about this set is that it doesn't open like in the movie, like this little weird back part doesn't open up in the movie. In the movie, it opens up like this, but you know, it's still cool to have a uh, extra compartment. And you can also open it up like this, but you have to hold this part down. You can open it up like that. And it's not too bad. Like, this is Both of these are really good sets and they're made very well. And this is the 20th anniversary one. So it has the so it has the Lando Calrissian figure, which is nice, and um, it's got the cool double-sided cape, and then on the back it says 20 years, and it also came with this artillery gun, and I'm just going to move this out of the way, this little artillery gun, I put the studs here, but, um, so this is the minifigure with it as well, I'm pretty sure it's just generic, he doesn't have a back face, and it's just a normal Trooper dude, and um, they include this old blaster, which is cool. And this gun moves around, there's a little thing on the back, and it's got a stud shooter. It can also move up and down, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's it for the snow speeder and the Ferrari. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.